and we're, we're back. back. You know what we're doing to Molly room? We're turning it to my room. Your room. <laughs> no. Wally thinks we're turning this Wise. room into his room, but what we're doing is we're actually gonna move this bed into Wally's room, and we're gonna turn this room into a maker studio. So we're super excited Ooh. to no, finally no. have a creator it's space. Be my, my new this is gonna be your new big boy bed. And what in your room. In your room. We got a lot of work we to do. Yes. All right, well this is the current bedroom. We've already started disassembling it. Um, but normally this is where my niece stays when she comes to visit. And then we have a guest room downstairs that traditionally my nephew sleeps in. Um, but it's pretty rare that they're ever here at the same time spending the night and they're getting older too. So we just thought, you know, we really don't need two spare bedrooms in our house. And um, if we have that many guests, somebody could always sleep in Molly's room. So we're rearranging things and we're gonna turn this room into our maker, creator, office room. And we're gonna move this bed into Wally's room because right now he just kind of has like a foam futon bed. So he'll have a real bed now. But this was actually my canopy bed when I was little, but we're not gonna have it be a canopy in Wally's room. So we've got a lot of work to do. First mission is we're gonna move this dresser into our bedroom. Well, we got the dresser all emptied out. Wally's helping me dust it all out before we make the move over to our bedroom. So mission number one accomplished. Oh, We're making progress. And this gonna be my new big boy bed. Yeah, the bed mommy's on is gonna be your new big boy bed. All right, well we moved the dresser into our bedroom and it's feeling a little boxed in. So I think we're actually going to move our bed and put it over on this wall. And then we have this extra TV that really we just haven't used. So that'll be in our room now. So we'll be able to watch TV in our bedroom, which is awesome. And then we took my jewelry armoire and moved it over here into our sitting area. So now this really does kind of feel more like a nice sitting area space. We still have to figure out a couple things. We've gotta figure out where the dog bed is gonna go and where my laundry baskets are gonna go, and where the cedar chest at the foot of our bed is gonna go. But we are going to figure all of that out as we rearrange. Right, the bedroom is rearranged, and everything fits, it looks great. I think this is gonna be a nice new setup, and we were able, able even to put the hutch back at the, or the cedar chest at the bottom of the bed. Now we've got this nice set of drawers in here, and we've got this TV, so this looks really good. I think it fills the space even nicer. All right, the futon has been restored to its original glory <laughs> back in the basement so that Wally can have a real bed in his room. But this futon's been up and down and in and out of every single room and house that we've had over the years. So it's coming back to hopefully its final resting place until someday it moves on, we'll see. While he's rocking out, keeping himself busy with his trains when we work on the futon over here. Got a party going on, is it a futon party, Wally? Oh, it's a train party, all right. All right, the bed has been moved. Wally has a new bedroom space now. It looks pretty good. I still, I have a bed skirt on order and a duvet cover. But he's got his baby Yoda blanket for now. And we're gonna put some planets up on the wall over here. We've got some planet decals. I don't wanna do you. But it looks pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, you got all your planet stuff. It's so cool. It looks great. Now on to the next project. All right, so now we are gonna put this room back together. I think we might be done for tonight and we'll tackle more of it tomorrow. But we've got this table. We've got chairs. I've got two sets of shelves coming uh, sometime this week. So we're gonna work on turning this into our new YouTube studio, maker creator space, classroom for Wally, office for Mark and I, so that'll be great. 
All right, well, we're breaking for the night from furniture building and rearranging. So now we're gonna enjoy a night on the Tiki Lounge patio. So we resurrected this cool neon light that we had. We had these from like high school. And then I found this really cool tiki bar bottle opener. And these amazing pillows. So I'll link the Etsy store in the description down below, but this is Jeff Grantino. He's a designer out of California. Um, and he makes all kinds of tiki stuff, but he had these awesome pillows. And then our rug came and it's actually called like tropical waves so it goes perfectly with the space we're just waiting on end tables and we might do a couple more tiki touches but it's looking pretty good and we have these awesome tiki torches out now too that we found first structural integrity tech of the tiki bar beer opener All right, day two of projects. The boys spent the morning getting all of these cool giant river rocks for our backyard and for my parents' yard. Um, one of their neighbors was giving these away for free. So they loaded up five loads of rocks um, and they're gonna build a pathway. And my mom and I have been busy upstairs working on the office. All right, well, we took a little break to eat and for Wally to play. So it's nighttime now, but we got the last two chairs assembled and I think we're actually gonna end up putting the table up here in kind of the middle of the room. We have two shelves coming that we're gonna try and put over here on this wall. We might do an accent wall, we'll see. But we got the green screen up here. So now we have a space we wanna sit and do green screen background. We wanna sit and just work on Legos or Whatever, do school projects with Wally, and then we'll be able to put all of our stuff up on the shelves over here. And we've got a bunch of Disney artwork we're gonna put up in this room. So excited to finally have a studio, office, maker space, creator space in our house. <sighs> and this desk is awesome because it fits actually four chairs around it. So there's plenty of room for all three of us to sit around and collaborate. And I think this whole setup, the table and the chairs in total was like maybe $250 off of Amazon. So very excited about that. And then we have one shelf coming from Target and another shelf coming from Amazon. So I'll link in the description down below all the furniture pieces that we purchased, um, just so you guys, in case you're wanting to do something similar. But we really love this table because it just gave us such a versatility of space and lots of room for us to all sit around and collaborate and flip around and use it as a work space, as a building space, however we need to. And I feel like we're gonna have great light in this room because we've got a lot of natural light that'll come in um, through the windows. We've got our two lights that came with our green screen setup. And then we did purchase like a little desk lamp. So um, yeah, I think we're gonna have great lighting. And then we do have just our ceiling fan light in this room as well, which is a little bit dimmer. Um, but I think with all the lighting options we have, it should be great for filming and greeting. All right, well, one of the shelves came yesterday. We got it put together. The other one finally came today. We're gonna get it all put together. It's gonna go up in this corner over here, so I'm gonna start getting that all cleaned out. Let me get everything organized, and our studio room will officially be done. All right, well, it is still a work in progress, but both shelves are installed. We got some of our Legos up here. I think we're gonna put the Harry Potter set here. And then we've got the train station, the Disney train station up here. And I'm starting to kind of play with different like ways to put things out. I have a lot of decorative photos and things uh, from my old office. So gotta kind of figure out where that stuff's gonna go. And then I've got 
some of Wally's learning things down here. We have these really fun photos, these um, Disney quotes. I think we're going to put those up here on this wall. And then I've got a Mickey poster I want to put up on this wall. So I think that'll do all the artwork. And I've got my desk workspace kind of situated, still kind of a work in progress, but for the most part, this room is put together. So we'll see. I think it's gonna be a great space to work and create in. All right, we got all the pictures hung. And this room is, I would say for the most part, complete. I think we have a couple more Lego sets we wanna put in here, but otherwise, we officially have a studio room for all of our creating and studying and working and building. It's a great space. Super excited. Yay! And the rest of our stuff came for our patio space as well. So let me show you the finished tiki patio. All right, well, Mark got our little lights hung. We just bought some solar lights out here so those are all set up and we've got mr hitchhiking tiki man we love that he was a hitchhiking tiki and the best part we got these tiki masks for over here they're so perfect so we've got a little bit of tiki flair oh and our end tables came too and they look perfect with the sofa so our like outdoor tiki oasis is fully complete. All right, well we are ready to relax and enjoy these new spaces that we've created in our house because it has been a crazy couple of weeks. A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. So we're happy to have our little tiki oasis and super excited for our new studio space. Yeah. We've already recorded one vlog there. So if you haven't watched already our pin swap that we did, that was recorded in our new studio, but yeah. we're excited to record lots more vlogs in there and just have a great space to work in. So thank you guys so much for watching, for coming along on this crazy construction journey with us. It's been, it's been fun. It's been really nice to yeah. take some time to just work on our home and make it cozier. Make sure so. you're subscribed down below, hit that bell icon so you know when we have our next video. Give us a big thumbs up. And give us that thumbs up. This is the wonderful world of Walter. And we love you just the way you are. Bye. Bye.